Hey, good evening. That's right. A Baltimore woman's working on a documentary to make sure that the sights, the sounds and the stories of that historic day are not lost in history. It was amazing. It was the energy was just crazy. Jabari Natur was 19 years old when he helped organize the Million Man March in Washington, D.C. back in 1995. It was meant to promote unity in the African-American community. He said being there had a lasting impact on his life. I attribute the spirit of it because I was myself a young man looking to get involved in something. So I was in search and the Million Man March added to a big part of that spirit of what I needed, the inspiration that I needed during that day, seeing all those men. Natur said the march motivated him to do more for himself and others. Now he's a business owner, the owner of Conscious Heads Barbershop, and he teaches others how to cut hair too. It's stories like his that Eartha Harris is trying to spread. In that story lies the solution are really what came out of the Million Man March. If we don't know the story, you see what I'm saying, then you don't know the solution. Eartha Harris was the co-convener for the march and is now working on a documentary about it called Men of the March. It tells the stories of the men who were there to witness this historic event and the impact it's had on their lives. Harris says the march centered around atonement and reconciliation, two things she thinks are still important in our community. That was one of the pieces that we must create in the universe, not just among the black men, among all men. We have to reconcile and atone with each other so we can move forward. Nator hopes that his story and the stories of the other men here continue to inspire others using that energy to go further and make things happen in the community. Now, Harris is still raising money for her documentary. There are actually several local events planned to mark the anniversary of the Million Man March on October 16th, including a Sunday morning service at Drew Hill Park at 6 a.m. Reporting live at the Inner Harbor, Kyrie Stewart, WBAL-TV 11.